So video eight is about preparing yourself mentally. Once you get beyond the, uh, the fear factor, uh, you're in the industry, you're working, um, you've got jobs that are flying at you because, you know, at, at some point you get really good and people want you. Now you have to start preparing yourself for what's, what's the next job, what's at hand. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I still at times on big jobs because it's just the, may, the way my mind works. I, I'm a planner when it comes to that type of thing. Uh, I will not sleep well some nights. I'll wake up at you know three or four in the morning and then not be able to fall back to sleep because I'm I'm mentally going through how I want that day or the next day or whatever to go, and I just commiserate over every detail of that to make sure that I'm going to be the most efficient in how I do the job. So what I try and do on you know whether it's a small job or a big job, smaller jobs you don't have to prepare as much, big jobs you do, is prepare the night before. Okay. Um, all of you have a phone. You're going to be utilizing your phone. Um, yeah, most phones, whether they're Android or Apple, they're going to have a, worry, a place that you can take notes and go in and jot notes down. Take, take the things that you're thinking about and put them down. If you're a pen to paper person, God bless you. Do it. Write it down. Be able to process that from your brain onto paper or onto a screen so that you can store it, save it, see it, right? And when you do that, that's going to help you so that you don't have the anxiety about what, what you're going to have to do. And doing it the night before will also help you rest easy that you're not having to figure it all out the next morning right before you leave. So it's just a very pragmatic way of setting yourself up to be successful the next day in your work. Um, sometimes I will be sourcing uh, the material that I need, right? If I'm going to do a job that I have to go get lumber, I want to make sure that when I go to the store, the lumber's there. Uh, if I have to go get a specific type of, of uh, tool or, um, you know, saw blade or whatever, most uh, of the big box stores, they will not only have that item, they'll tell you how many of that item is actually in stock. So being able to know that you know that it's going to be there is critical. And then if you go in and you see, oh, wow, there's only two of them, right? Buy it online and go and pick it up the next day to make sure that you've got one of the only two that are left so that you don't get in there and you end up chewing up 30 to 40 minutes of your day because you got there and it wasn't there and you had to go to the next door to get it. Okay. All of this stuff matters and you'll learn a lot of this. I'm just shrinking up this learning curve for you so that you don't have to think about all of this, but it does matter. And, uh, you know, in order for you to really be on top of everything, you have to think about everything. And all of these things will become natural for you as you get into this and start working through it. None of this was natural in the beginning. I did not know all of this in the first two weeks, you know, three months. I didn't know all of this, honestly, until probably a year ago of what I'm telling you. I learned all of this over basically the first two years of working. The last year has been me understanding pretty much everything that I've told you. But again, I was going out there and doing things that most people weren't. I don't have a fearful bone in my body about much of anything. Like there isn't much that scares me. And I'm not saying that egotistically. I'm just saying God has wired me in a way that I don't fear the unknown. I don't fear failing. So I I was able to learn this stuff quickly where a lot of other people, it may have taken them a lot longer to learn this because fear held them back from being able to put themselves out there to do that. So planning your day the night before and making sure that, that what you're going to need to do, both mentally, physically, and then through sourcing material, always matters. Take that to heart and begin to do that. Uh, the next thing is this. Um, I've done a lot in my life, okay? I've, I've had many different professions as an entrepreneur, um, but one thing that has been a part of my life, my entire life, and this comes from my father, is that Nutrition and, and dietary needs have always been critical to me in, in every part of my life. And, you know, I've, I've tried to take that into even this, you know, I've been a personal trainer for many years, um, actually for, gosh, a couple decades. So I was helping people physically get well. And I was taking people who are, who are you know, whether they be obese or just have physical ailments, whatever, uh, but normally I would always deal head on with the nutritional part of it and help them get to a better place. And it, this industry is, um, is riddled with people that do not take care of themselves. If you go to any of those big box stores that I'm talking about, okay, 
and you see these people that pull up in these big dually pickups um, and you see them walking through the store, most of them are overweight. You can tell they have high blood pressure just because of the way their skin looks, how vascular they are, how red their, their, you know, their, their skin is. Um, a lot of them are walking, you know, they're, they, you can tell that they've got some osteoporosis type things setting in. Um, they're, you know, that you can just tell they don't physically feel well or they they don't look well. Uh, and very seldom do I find anybody or see anybody that I go, yeah, that person's walking with a pep to their step. And if you've never met me personally, you'll know that even at almost 50, my motor runs at 10 almost every second of the day until I go to bed. When I'm walking through those stores, people know that I'm on a mission to get whatever I'm going to get. They know it. Um, people have said it to me. And, you know, I'll always take the time to sit and talk to people or talk to people that work there. And I know most of the people that do, but they all know when I'm there, I'm there for business. I'm there to get stuff and to get on and get on with my day. But that's because I take care of myself from a dietary nutritional standpoint. So I'm telling you this, this job is not going to be easy on your body unless you're doing jobs that are just physically not very taxing. That may be fine, um, you know, but that will be commensurate to the amount of money you'll make as well. And you have to make that decision. The harder the jobs are typically, the more money you're gonna make. It's just the way it goes. Uh, the more jobs that you're gonna be laying your hands on big fat pieces of lumber and erecting things, you're gonna make more money but it's going to kick your butt and you're going to have to be willing to take the time, uh, the energy, the energy and spend the, the money on, on getting the right things in you, right? Going and having your produce, making sure that you're getting great water, hydrating yourself, um, taking great supplements. These things are going to matter. And one of the other things about this job is that most people do not plan what they're going to eat throughout the day. So what they do is they end up getting, they, they work through their normal process of, hey, I should eat now. They get to the point where they're exhausted or they just need to, they feel like, oh my God, I'm going to eat my arm off. And then they go eat something because they're so famished that they, they'll eat anything that they see, whether it's a gigantic bag of chips, a hot dog, it doesn't matter. They'll just eat whatever they want. And I'm not going to lie to you. I have at times when I, when there's nothing else there and I have to eat something, I will, but I never make it a practice of doing that all the time. Because if I do that, um, my body will feel like crap and I, my mind will, will be foggy and I will not be able to, um, to work at a high level. So taking this part of it to heart, it, it just, there isn't, any part of what I'm telling you that is that is probably more important than another, this is another one. If you're not taking care of you, then your jobs are going to suffer, okay? Finding great water, um, staying hydrated with typically alkaline water is what I drink, um, is going to help your body be high, more hydrated than, than the next. And as you're sweating, because you're going to sweat a lot doing this, that's going to help replenish the minerals that your body needs to stay ahead of the game and to do great work and to continually hone your craft and become better. So take this to heart. And the next video we're gonna talk about is gonna be whether or not you want to work alone, uh, maybe with another person or with a crew. So stay tuned for number nine.